Okay, so we're going to be doing a rear seal here, wheel seal on this 2002 2500HD. This has the 6 liter gas motor. Um, how do we know that we have a bad seal? Well, you can see there's oil all over this hub. There's oil all over in the parking brake deal and when I pulled the rotor off to do a brake job there's oil all over in the hub so that tells you that the seal down in there on this hub here is bad. On these semi floating axles it's not real difficult to change this seal out. You will need a couple special sockets. First thing you're going to do is you got to pull the axle out. You got to take all these bolts off and then the axle will slide out. You do not have to go into the, the rear end and, and pull a C-clip or anything. So I'm going to get these bolts off and we're going to slide this axle out. Okay, so once you get the axle out, it just slides out. Uh, there's a nut there that's going to require a special socket. I'll show you that in a second. But before you can loosen it up and take it out, uh, there's a lock ring there. You can see that. Um, right there, you can see it. And then there's a keyway inside there that's got to come out before you can start turning that nut. So I'm going to get my, I think I'm going to try a screwdriver here. Try to get that out and we'll get the keyway out and then we'll take the nut off. Okay, so here's a little lock that goes on the, the deal there to, to lock the, the little key in so it don't fall out. And then I'm using my wrench. I use my special socket. You see it's got a bunch of uh, notches on it. Uh, this is a An Evertough uh, 67037 socket, and you're gonna need that because there's little slots in that nut. I'll show you when I take it out. So then I uh, had to loosen up the the nut to get the pressure off the little keyway, and then I use a magnet to pull it out. It's just a square little key that sits in the slot, keeps the the nut from backing off because you're not gonna tighten this thing very tight. Uh, in the end, you just hand tighten it. Um, with the wrench so I'll show you the procedure once I go to reinstall this I really don't think it should have been that tight someone I think over tighten that that's just supposed to be hand tight There's the nut with the slots. I believe this hub should come out. Sure why it come off so dang hard but okay so here's the hub where we just took off and the back here this is the seal that's leaking so I got to uh, get that out I'll have to clean everything up there's the axle tube right there 
just zoomed in, zoomed in a little bit, but uh, we'll get that all cleaned off. We'll get all this parking brake cleaned off. Brake clean, probably. Okay, so we'll try to pull the seal out here with the seal puller. And, uh, when you're using a seal puller like this, you gotta watch out you don't scratch up the, the wall your seal sits on. Well, that was actually pretty easy there. Well, that's it. We'll get a new one in. Probably clean up and take a look at the bearings, but I think they'll be okay. We'll look at them while we're in here, though. So I got the hub all cleaned up. Got the bearings cleaned up. They are, they look good. The races look good. Everything looks good. So I'm not gonna replace anything. Uh, there's there's no need to. Uh, I just got some WD all over them right now, so they don't flash rust on me and and then destroy the bearing while I uh, get the seal in. And I don't know when I'm gonna actually get the hub back on. So uh, here's the new seal. It's going in. It's a little different than the original one that was in it and I don't know if that was original or not it come out awful easy but it's got to go in there it's got a little flange you can see it's got to go all the way down I don't have a seal driver that big so I'm going to see if I can't find a big socket or a big piece of pipe or something to pound this in with so I'll get that in and well uh be ready to go. Uh, one thing you want to remember before you drive the seal in, um, you want to put your bearings back in. You don't want to forget to do that. Uh, you'll be kicking yourself pretty bad <laughs> if you drive that seal in and your bearings not in there. So don't forget to do that. Okay so I found this piece of pipe here that's gonna kind of fit my seal as best I can and you're going to want to make sure whatever you use is relatively clean so you're not knocking a bunch of junk down in your bearings. Uh, once I get the seal in, I'll probably put a little uh, rear end grease on those bearings so when I start up it's not dry. You're not going to grease those bearings because this is a, a floating axle and, and the fluid is going to flow into the, this, this hub, the rear end fluid, so you don't need to, add, to grease those bearings. Okay, so we got the hub here all assembled. We're gonna slide it on. Got all the bearings in there. Got the seal lubed up a little bit. We're gonna install our nut here. Okay, so I've got this tightened down by hand with a little uh, nut, pretty tight. But what you're doing next to uh, seat the, the bearings or whatever, 
you're going to take your torque wrench and you're going to torque this down while you're spinning it. And it's pretty difficult to actually do this by yourself. But you're going to spin it. You're supposed to spin it the direction it's going to rotate while you're torquing this down to 50 foot pounds. And like I said, pretty difficult to actually do it yourself. And then what you're going to do is you're going to back it off a quarter of a turn. So we got a quarter of a turn there. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to tighten this by hand. And you're going to line up the keyway. Now you're not looking to crank this thing down. It's just you want no play in it. You want it to spin free. And there you go. So once you got that hand tight, you got to find the keyway here. And you don't want to have any play in this. Then you're going to put your little keyway in there. That'll lock the nut so it can't loosen up on you. Because it's not tight. It, it, it's hand tight, but it's not super tight, so it will move if it's not locked. Then you take your little lock ring, and you're going to want to install that. You're going to push it all the way back to the last thread there that it can grab a hold of. That'll lock that little key in there. So now the axle's gone into the splines there. You just uh, install all your bolts. Uh, you will want to put some sealant around this. And that's going to do it. Uh, I believe the torque on these bolts here is 110 or 115 foot pounds on the 10 and a half. I think the 11 and a half, which I believe comes in the Duramax, is. 140 some foot pounds I believe so get them torqued I'm letting the sealant seal up then I'll go ahead and torque them down and uh, that's it it's that's a seal on one of these uh, rear hubs these rear ends these full floating axles uh, I know I've heard of some guys actually driving in circles after you do this to force the fluid you know, from the rear end to, on each side so the bearings are, have, have oil again before you take off going down the road. So I'm probably going to do that. And then uh, I'm going to top off my, my axle fluid. I don't think I lost much, but I'm going to check it anyway. Good idea. Actually, I might change it. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.